But this gives you an insight about what this fellow is is like. Simon, have a listen to this. This was him speaking. I've heard it a couple of times now, and it's really worked on me. This was Anne speaking to the Australian national squad ahead of the Russia World Cup. And this was him virtually saying to them, listen, remember who you are and remember where you've come from. You think about the person in your life, as I've always said to you, it could be your mum, could be your dad, could be your brother, sister, uncle, grandfather, partner, friend, coach, somebody in your life that when you started, believed in you more than anyone else. Well done, Trent! That when you said, I want to play football and you were passionate about it, they're the ones that made the sacrifices. They're the ones that pushed you. That when people said to you, you're not good enough, they're the ones that picked you up and said, no, nah, no, nah, you keep going. Oh, bad luck, come on, Jack. Oh. Think about that person. Think about how that person's going to feel when we win tonight when they're at home and the text messages start coming through to them and people ringing them and people sharing the experience with them and when they wake up tomorrow morning in Australia and everyone wants to talk to them, they'll feel like it's them that's achieved it. And you know what? It is them. Because that's who you're walking out with tonight. When I walk out, my old man's next to me. He's a hard man, my old man. Still is today. But he's the one that kept saying to me, no, you can keep doing what you're doing. You're going to love this game and you're going to make it to the very top. Hard man though. When won the Asian Cup, said in his place because he can't travel, here's the Asian Cup medal. Dad, he goes, well done son, but if you'd made a substitution a little bit earlier and you stopped this playing out from the back, it wouldn't have gone into extra time and you'd be fine. Still a hard man, can't please him. That's who made me. He walks out with me tonight. So you reckon if my old man was out there, he'd be afraid of Germans, Argentinians, Brazilians? That's not what he's instilled to me when I was young. That's not the people who made that sacrifice for you in your life. That's not how they raised you. So let them walk out with you tonight. That when the opposition are looking across at you, they're not just looking at you, they're looking at what made you. They're looking at the people who made you. You wouldn't be sitting here today unless there was a person in your life who just gave you the most enormous love and belief that you know what, I don't give a what happens to me, what people say about me, what challenges I have, I'm going to make it. Oh, enjoy your lunch. Enjoy your lunch. I, yeah. I like that. I heard it with the without the expletives uh, yeah, bleeped out. Australian nil, Peru two. Yeah. <laughs> So what? But it's 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 what he was saying to them, I yeah. think. I mean, you are ready to run out for Brisbane Roar. You're ready to run out for Melbourne Victory after you hear that. Two, two of his former clubs. And he manages the showing national team and he managed Yokohama Marinos as well and then mm. goes on to Celtic. I mean, let's see what he's going to do here, Simon. Let, yeah, I let, can just imagine Richarlison responding to all that. Look, I'm, I've never been one to Why those, not? Because I've never been one to those, take them out of context. I can get Michael Sheen to trot that out like he did when he was giving a speech to the Welsh rugby team. Look, the bottom line is, is about how you manage players, not in individual moments, it's about how you manage them over a period of time, how you connect with them individually, how you connect with players of highfalutin levels. Not Australian footballers that are playing for a, a you know, a second-rate international side that aren't going to compete at the highest level. Great they get to World Cups, they're not going to win World Cups. Great that you can get Celtic to play in a certain way. You're moving into the Premier League now, you're moving into multi-millionaire territory where they're all individuals in their own right, all have their own opinions. And that sort of stuff is great, I like it, I understand it, but I think it has limited benefit. I think those are moments that we will go, oh, look at that, what a Churchillian speech that is. Yeah, but come on, Neil Warnock you would do things like that and you'd be applauding him for it. That's why we've got Warnock but, but, here. But Neil Warnock never did. Never did. No, because it's no. not. No, he went down to individual level and spoke to individual players like Victor Moses, talking to him about on an individual level. He spoke to people like Sean Derry on an individual level. He didn't give one of these Churchillian speeches across a dressing room saying, "Look at me, come if the hour, come if the man." I think there's a place for it. Mm. If we're going to suggest that that's what's going to get Tottenham Hotspur to win leagues, I think we're a little bit naive. But I also think there's a place for it. There's a moment for it. And we know, and having been around professional footballers and know what they're like, the moment you misspeak, the moment they don't buy into something, it will make no difference how, how many different versions of the, of the Anzacs you can create in yeah, your mind about listen, what they did in the First and Second World War. When Arteta spoke to the Arsenal squad about Aubameyang, they listened. They and, damn well listened. And, and what did they do? And what did they do when their moments came? When they were going to the deepest they became pump. title challenges. And what did they do when their moment came last year? They ran Manchester City all the way. No, they didn't. At, yeah, the, key, they did. at, the, at the key moment, they took 240 days of leadership and they turned it into dust. 
What did they do last year when that moment came when they dug deep and they look at what their fathers told them, the people that loved them the most and the people who told them they weren't good enough? Mm. They finished fifth when they could have finished fourth Listen, last year. You, they, you, they lost the league uh, to Man City on their own volition. I get so what don't you're give saying. me that rubbish. Yeah, but all, all the talk. I mean, I listened to you and Antonio Conte rode into town. Oh, hang on, we've got a live one here. Yeah, where he's is a he winner. Now? Because, Back home counties, be, be, though. Because the version of Antonio Conte that I anticipated was going to walk through the door is no longer here. It's like that Monty Parathon skit. It's no longer a parrot. It's an ex parrot. It's Monty a Par- former winner. Monty Parathon. I Monty, remember Monty the, Python. I remember the Python sketch. This parrot is dead. Exactly. Um, this anyway. winner is no more. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.